Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the lighting of this particular restaurant interior over here. So as you can see, let's again go over here and let's just activate this V-Ray IPR over here. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, again I'll select this light and I'll give a bit of a copy of this particular light over here. So I'll again go over here and let's just mirror this in this y axis. I'll make a copy of this particular light till here. Slightly and I'll reduce its multiplier so let me check this multiplier oh the light multiplier is very less so I have increased its multiplier over here so I'll select this light over here Let's select this light and if you want I can slightly just shuffle this up. I'll delete this light for now. I'll take one more V-Ray light. So let's put one V-Ray light again right over here. from this axis so push this over here slightly rotate it So I'll go again into this, I'll make it as 0.02 the intensity of this and double sided invisible no decay. Alright, so if you think that the light is too much we can definitely control this lights, that's not a problem that can be done so although we have also increased the subdivisions of this materials over here now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go into this atmospheric apparatus and I'll take a box gizmo over here so let's take a box gizmo and let's just draw a box gizmo till here so I'll just draw a box gizmo I'll slightly scale this gizmo a bit And now into that let's add a V-Ray environmental fog over here. Let's go into this, go into the setup and now I'll definitely activate this over here. So now I'll go over here into this. I have one option that's your First, I'll just remove this. Let's remove this. And we have the fog color. So, let's just assign a fog color 
and the fog distance over here. So you need to assign the fog distance. The fog height you can define it a bit. Your subdivisions, you can increase the subdivisions over here. And now into that, let's add a V-Ray environmental fog. So into the gizmo, I'll add this gizmo. And into the light, I'll add this light over here. So I added a V-Ray environmental fog over here. So if you want to slightly work with the light, so we can do that. Although we have this uh, fog distance, you can see the fog distance is showing over here. You can increase the subdivisions. Slightly I'll increase it. I'll slightly increase the fog distance over here. So right now I'm using this VA environmental fog. Looks much better. Alright. Now can increase it more slightly slightly go on increasing it okay select this and let's go into this and we have a turbidity if you want to work with a turbidity we can work with a turbidity also so you can work with a turbidity options also so let's just make it as 2 or 2.5 so I'll make it as 2 for now And if you need intensity, I can slightly reduce this intensity to 0 0.03 if needed. We can do that. That is also possible over here. So I can just save the file once over here. And let's just render it and see how it looks like. So I have also added this VDA environmental fog. So I can slightly reduce the distance also if required. So we can do that. So that is totally possible. So I'll again go into this. Again, I'll activate this VRA IPR settings over here. If you reduce this fog distance, you will see that you will see the fog like this over here. Let's go down. Max steps is okay. I have increased the scatter bounces. I keep it as 3 over here. 1200. Let's see what happens if we are increasing the fog distance over here for this. And also, if you want, we have some presets over here. If you go with the VDA exposure control over here, then you will definitely get some more the 
balancing presets like you can make it as neutral, daylight. So that is uh, possible over here. Let's see how it looks like. So I can just make this changes over here. Shutter speed I'll reduce it to 25 or 15 over here. So you can just change this over here, you can keep it as neutral also. So we have ISO also, if you keep it increases ISO, you can see that its exposure is increased with the help of this ISO. You can uh, actually work with this ISO if required accordingly. So I have, I am using this manually, this controls over here, if you switch to daylight also, you can do that properties over here, you can get some daylight properties. And if you don't need this V-Ray exposure control, you can directly switch back to no exposure control as it was uh, before over here. I can switch it back to normal as usual. Also you have this uh, fog density, you can work with this <coughs> fog density also. So right now I'll keep it as, as it is over here. So now I'll go into this rendering, I'll just save as it, save it. Let's go into rendering, render setup and we'll do some changes with it. So let's go into the V-Ray over here. I'll set this the sample filter to bucket over here. First I'll make remove this from here. Again I'll go into this image filter. I'll set it as Catmull room. Minimum maximum subdivision that's totally okay over here. I'll go into this global DMC. Noise threshold 0 0.001. I'll keep it as. I'll go into the environment. I've activated this VRA environment. Oh, sorry, your HDRI. I'll keep the color mapping as exponential as usual. Go into GI, your evidence map, 180 by 60, I'll keep this preset as medium for now. Let's go down light cache, I'll increase this light cache over here and into the settings I can into this dynamic bucket memory limit 4000 I'll keep it let's see how it looks like now So we can off the sub pixel mapping if it is not supporting. And you can just render it. So I'll slightly increase the intensity of the light, the intensity of the light is less, I'll make it as 0 
and we can keep it as V-ray exhaust filter. Alright, so save your file. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. As you can see, we have gone through some V-ray environmental map. We have gone through some render settings. So we'll be continuing the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.